Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube walkaround videos. In today's walkaround video, we'd like to present you this spectacular pre-owned 2019 Porsche 911 Speedster. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership, it's currently part of our pre-owned inventory and in today's walkaround video, we're gonna highlight the build specification on this specific car, both on the outside and the inside and talk about the 2019 911 Speedster in general. Now the 2019 911 Speedster, 1948 units were made for the entire world, all Speedsters individually numbered, so we'll talk about the production number on this one later on. Now most of those were in the standard color palette that was available for the vehicle, but this one is actually paint to sample, so even more rare specification. The paint to sample color is called Riviera Blue, which is nowadays almost a historical Porsche color, and what a spectacular color to do on the 911 Speedster. Many of the components of this generation Speedster were shared with the 911 GT3 and the 911 GT3 RS. It's actually the first Speedster developed by the GT department as the previous generation Speedsters were not GT derivatives. Let's talk about some of the details that were carried over from the GT department, starting here with some material use. So the actual hood on this generation Speedster made out of carbon fiber, or for example, the GT3 of the 991 generation two had an aluminum hood. The RS did have a carbon fiber hood and this one also the carbon fiber hood. You can also see the lines here in the middle, again, different to the GT3 models and more similar in line with the RS models of the 2019 model. The GT3 front bumper is being used, so the front fascia is similar to a 2018 or 19 911 GT3. Big intakes, of course, to feed the air to the front placed radiators. The engine is also the same as the GT3 in many ways, so it is a naturally aspirated 4 liter flat 6 revving out to 9000 RPM, connected for the Speedster only to a 6 speed manual GT sports transmission with a short shifter. Now the 2018 and 19 GT3 was available in both PDK as manual, but for the Speedster only the manual transmission. So again, the front fascia the same, the hood is different, but also the fenders on the Speedster made out of carbon fiber. Again, another difference to, for example, the 911 GT3, where the fenders were also made out of aluminum. The next factory option, this one is the black LED headlights, replacing the standard Xenon units by the full LED technology. This is the black version, so you can the beautiful contrast there against the Riviera blue exterior color. Then this one also has the PCCB, the Porsche Carbon Composite Brake System, recognizable of course with the carbon ceramic rotors, the yellow painted calipers, I believe 410 millimeters front discs, incredible braking performance. The center locking GT3 wheels are standard, 20 inches in both the front as the rear, and in this case optionally uh, painted by Porsche Exclusive Manufacturer in satin black. Continue here to the sides, the same side skirts as the 911 GT3 of the 991 Generation 2, the same also for the mirrors, same design there. Getting here to the back, this vehicle also using the same rear axle steering system as 911 GT3. And this, I believe, is still till today the largest single piece of carbon fiber for a Porsche production car ever made. So this entire double bubble deck lid that is covering the Speedster convertible top is made out of carbon fiber. Just incredible large piece of carbon. It's almost theater when that opens up and an incredible weave also on the inside, of course, we can recognize the carbon. Going here to the back, you can see the specific Speedster model designation finished in satin black. Also this design strip here with the Porsche name specific to the Speedster, the double bubble specific to the Speedster. And also the exhaust system is a carryover from the GT products. So the Porsche Sport exhaust system standard Incredible sound from the four liter flat six, just over 500 horsepower. Now mechanically, there is a difference in the engine. So the 2019 Speedster was the first one to use the individual throttle bodies on the four liter flat six that was used on the 991.2 uh, GT cars. So individual throttle bodies for the cylinders, incredible engine sound. And what's also, by the way, similar to the GT cars is, let's go all the way down here, is the specific diffuser design here on the bottom section. Incredible car again, 1948 units for the entire world and very few of them being painted in paint to sample. So we talked about most of the details on the outside, the common fiber body panels, the wheels, the brakes on this one, being a paint to sample vehicle and the LED headlights. Let's have a look on the inside. This one has the lightweight carbon fiber bucket seats, finished in full black leather. Another difference to the Porsche GT cars, where in most cases, of course, the inserts in the middle were Alcantara, also known as race techs in the Porsche world. This full black leather, and then also the stitching on this one is a deviated stitch, stitching package, and the color of the stitching is called Speed Blue. 
Looks fantastic against Riviera Blue on the outside. Then in the middle there, we can see the plaque indicating the production number of each individual Speedster. So Porsche as a manufacturer actually indicates each individual limitation number where some other car manufacturers will only say one of this many. We actually have each car an individual number. So the full black leather carbon fiber bucket seats. Now you can see also more special options on the inside where even the air vents slats are painted in paint to sample Riviera blue covered around the air vents in beautiful black leather, which once again, the speed blue stitching. The same for the steering column casing, finished in black leather with the speed blue stitching. I mentioned, of course, earlier on the six speed short shifter transmission finished with beautiful carbon. The same also for the carbon inlay in both the dashboard and in the door panels. The mileage on this specific vehicle, just under 640 miles as of right now. It also has the LED illuminated carbon side sill here, by the way. And then like a true GT product, also the door opening loops, similar to the GT3 RS. And then this one also has the Bose speakers. A beautiful example, again, very rare being paint to sample, especially out of the only 1948 units that were made for the entire world. Again, the first ever Speedster to be developed by the Porsche GT department. Cars in beautiful condition, paint protection film applied on the Riviera Blue. The drive, the sensation, of course, of revving out a 9,000 RPM flat six four liter with the Speedster top down is an incredible experience. Now there is no power to that process, which of course makes sense in terms of weight savings, but I've done it many times. It's actually very easy, very similar to the 718 Spider or Boxer Spider when it comes to opening and closing the roof. So a little bit of practice, it's very easy. Thank you so much once again for watching my YouTube videos. Again, my name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. I've been representing the Porsche brand since 2016. So almost eight years now with Porsche. And of course, on this journey, have been able to deliver many incredible Porsche vehicles to my clients. My contact information is in this video description. My cell phone number, including my email, any questions, feel free to reach out to me about availability full specification pricing on, for example, this stunning pre-owned 2019 Porsche 911 Speedster. Thanks so much for sharing the Porsche passion and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.